um, Zainar. Uh, Zainar is a former ELI student. Uh, everyone say hi, Zainar. Hi, hi. Zainar. Hi. <laughs> and uh, Zainar is from Kazakhstan. Uh, and tell us a little bit about your project, um, like 15 seconds. <laughs> okay, my you can edit it later. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm just, uh, in, I'm from Kazakhstan. Uh, before I studying in this school, uh, maybe one year. Uh, now I, I have new project, it's kind of my uh, job. I'm blogger. I just compare uh, between two countries, America and Kazakhstan. Uh, compare uh, education between two countries. So today we have an interesting uh, topic. Uh, it's kind of topic about uh, extra um, mis, uh, pronunciation le lessons for people who stay in America, like me. Mm -hmm. It's just not only uh, uh, school. It's like extra class. We mm -hmm. have extra elective. Class. Mm -hmm. Just elective. Sorry, elective class. Mm -hmm. It's very necessary for people who study English, like me. So just a uh, very short uh, story about me. <laughs> Great. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Zainab. Thank um, you. So yeah, thank you all for staying with pronunciation. Um, I'm going to go around quickly and have you introduce yourselves and your native language and where you're from, OK? Uh, so that I know everyone in the room. Uh, I see a couple of new faces, so that's great. Um, first, I'll introduce myself. I always have to find the marker in this room. Vivi hides them, I swear. Let's see if I can find one that works. So, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Alan. Uh, my, my real name has an A on it, Alina, but... Yeah, Alina is my real name, but I go by Alan as a nickname. I have for many years, so um, feel free to call me Alan. Uh, but I'll answer to either. Uh, and my passion in teaching is pronunciation. It's my favorite topic. It doesn't matter how much you know if you can't be understood, right? So it doesn't matter how many verbs you memorize, if when you speak them, people still don't understand you, right? So. Something to remember about pronunciation is that you're not trying to sound American necessarily. We will all always have a little bit of an accent from where we're from, and that's okay. English is an international language, right? Uh, and your ability to speak it is just as good as our ability to speak it. Um, what we do wanna make sure is while you're here in America and when you are in your professional lives, that people understand you, right? So accents are fine, uh, but we want to make sure you're understood and that it's not a barrier for you to communicate, right? So um, some people say, I want to sound just like you. I'm like, mm, you don't need to sound like me. You just need to be understood, right? And that's okay. Uh, and so that's really our goal in this class. Um, so I like to say pronunciation is really about practice. It's like going to the gym, okay? Um, you're building new muscles in your mouth. You built certain ones in your face and your mouth when you were a baby, um, and now you're building new ones and different ones, right? And so it's like going to the gym. So the more you can practice, the better, okay? So, all right, now we're gonna introduce ourselves. Hi, my name is Johan, I am from Colombia. My language, my native language is Spanish. Great, thank you. Johan, from Colombia, mother language is Spanish. My name is Hamida. My mother tongue is uh, Dari from Afghanistan, uh, and I come from Denmark. I speak Danish, but uh, I was I I lived in Iran for uh, many years, and therefore I cannot uh, speak Persian. Yeah. So many. So you are multilingual. Yes. Yeah. That's wonderful. It's kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. Hi, I'm Chen. I speak Thai. I'm from Thailand. My name is Stefan. Stefan, I'm from Bulgaria. Um, my my mother language is uh, Bulgarian. It's similar to Serbian, Macedonian. We can understand easily. Also, it's uh, the language group of Russian. I also speak fluently Spanish and uh, a little bit Italian. Also, multilingual. Wonderful. Yeah, great. 
My name is Maria Jose. I'm from Spain. Uh, I live in Canaria Island. Mm. Uh, I am a nutritionist. Uh, my specialty, no, specialty is cook the Spanish omelette. <laughs> ah. <laughs> my passion is create, create, uh, create, create a new project, ideas, and help the other person how to find the how to find the the work uh, or job of your life. Ah, so you're like a career coach. Similar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, and tell us your name again. Uh, your name? Uh, Maria. Maria Jose. Maria Jose. Okay. Maria Jose from the Canary Islands in Spain. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. My name is Carlos. I'm a journalist. I live in, I'm from Spain, but I live in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, my native language is Spanish, but I fluent in Portuguese. And I would like to improve my level of English. Wonderful. Tell me your name again. Carlos. Carlos. Nice to meet you, Carlos. Okay, great. I am, um, I'm Ana. I'm from Argentina. And I'm, my native uh, language is Mm. Okay, so right now we have this group of Spanish speakers here. So when uh, we start working in pairs, Stefan, I'm going to have you move over and work with Anna, maybe? Um, hmm. I turn around. Yeah, and you turn around, I think. Or, yeah, because you two are Spanish speaking as well. So we have an uneven number, so maybe um, you could work in a group of, let's see. Mm. Yeah, maybe you guys switch places and anyway, we'll make sure that you are not working with someone who speaks your language and we'll have that one group of three. So if there's two Spanish speakers, as long as there's someone else. Um, thankfully, you're all from different countries, so you won't have exactly the same pronunciation anyway, um, although you two are both from Spain. Uh, so uh, the reason why I do that is so that you don't make the same pronunciation mistakes, right? And you can help correct each other. Um, okay. So someone last week asked about a uh, TH uh, tongue twister, but I don't think they're here today, so I might not do that one unless you all have TH questions. But TH, do you know TH? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you. Yeah. Okay, I have I have your tongue twisters. Um, hey, where did I put it? Um, oh no, I brought it just. I will, yeah. Um, I think it was, let's see if I can remember it. Um, Theo's 33rd birthday is the 13th of the month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this one is really focusing on the unvoiced TH. Do you remember the difference between the voiced and the unvoiced? So last week we talked about this a little bit. Um, so voice is when you have the vibration of your voice, the sound, right? So that's called voiced. It has the sound, okay? When you don't have the voice, it's just air sound, right? So TH has two versions. Both of them, you put your tongue between your teeth um, so that it's sticking out. Everyone has to stick out their tongue, okay? So don't be shy, everyone stick out your tongue. Okay, now pull it back a little bit, but make sure it still goes between your teeth. Um, sometimes it's right behind your teeth. If it's behind your teeth, it's gonna sound like an S. It has to go through the teeth, um, okay? So make sure your tongue sticks out, and then you blow air, okay? So that is the unvoiced, okay? Okay, 
Now if you add the vibration, the sound of your voice, it sounds like Yeah, okay? Uh, and it should tickle a little bit. Your tongue should tickle a little bit because it's vibrating, right? So try that again. Good, good. Um, so this one is really focusing on the unvoiced though, the one that is air only, the sound. Now, if you're in a noisy place or you're uh, you know, not that familiar with the language, it's gonna be hard to hear the difference between and sometimes, right? They sound super similar. So what we do is we look at people's mouths, right? We're all a little bit lip readers. So if the tongue is inside the mouth, we think it's an S. If it's through the teeth, we think it's a TH. So it's important to make the right shape, okay? So let's practice this one. Theo's 33rd birthday is the 13th of the month. <laughs> yeah, month, okay? So who wants to try it? Anyone want to try it? Sure. Yeah? Mm, I, I. <laughs> yeah. See you thirty third birthday in the thirty of the month. Good. Birthday. 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 Yeah. And thirteenth. You gotta get that at the end. Thirteenth. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. Anyone else wanna try it? Theo's 33rd birthday is the 13th of the month. Good, yeah. Anyone else? Uh, Theo's 33rd birthday is uh, the 13th of uh, the month. Mm -hmm. So there are a couple of voice teachers. Where are they? Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Nina's right. Here. The, 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 that one's voiced, right? All the others are unvoiced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carlos, you had your hand up. Yeah. Uh, Pio's 33rd birthday is the 13th of the month. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. And Pio's, Pio's 33rd birthday is the 13th of the month. Very good. Johan? Theo's 33rd birthday is the 13th of the month. Yeah, very good. You got it. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Jen? Theo's 33rd birthday is the 13th of the month. Yay! Good work, everyone. Okay, so that's just a little tea review. Now I want to give you guys about 10 minutes, or you know, a few minutes to ask questions. Um, if there's any pronunciation questions you have today. And then we're going to go back and we're going to do our final lesson on vowels before we move on to consonants for the quarter, okay? So yeah, any questions? What are your pronunciation questions? <laughs> Don't be shy, now's the time. Difficult for... Yeah, what is difficult for you to pronounce? Air. R. 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 Yeah. R. Yeah. Or the little one. Yeah. R. Yeah. What else? Anything else? Uh, maybe a W with N to sound. A W? Like? A w and an M after. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. This, like, this sound. No. Okay. like yawn? Yawn. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a difficult piece with can and can't. Mm -hmm. Like there's um, really difficult to understand when they say can or cannot. Mm -hmm. When they say can't. Uh -huh. Right. Or mm -hmm. do or don't. And do. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Do or don't. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good questions. So. I'll start with the R, since that was the first one. So the R is a unique American sound. Um, and our R is different from most of the R's in the world, uh, especially the Spanish or Portuguese one. Uh, and so uh, the thing to remember about the American R um, is it's always pronounced, um, always. Not all, not all sounds in English are always pronounced, right? Sometimes we have silent sounds. But the R is always pronounced. It's also always closed and rounded, like okay? So it's like a bear, 
Your mouth is round, your tongue is pulled back. It does nothing. Uh, uh, so for most of you, you're gonna wanna, right? You're gonna wanna flip your tongue. No, that is not the American art, okay? So, or the English art. Um, there's no, if you're using your tongue, it's wrong. Your tongue just needs to be out of the way and you just need to make the shape of the round shape and then it should be made down here, kind of like a bear, right? It's a strong sound, okay? So, Ur. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, thank you. Here's my, those are my tongue twisters. Um, yeah, so the er, the strong sound, okay? So, um, like, ready. 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 Yeah, so see my mouth makes it kind of round shape. Ready. Um, or at the end, like, pair. So your mouth has to kind of close at the end, pair, right? Pair. Mm -hmm. yeah, pair. For example, with rabbits? Uh-huh. It's the same, the same song? Yeah, so when it's or at the beginning, like rabbit or ready, um, ready, it's actually, so when it's at the end, pair, it's just a more er sound, right? But then when it's at the beginning, you really use your lips too in that round shape to kind of like emphasize it. It's like rabbit. 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 No, never. Yeah. Uh, in Spain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when in Spain, that's fine. Uh, yeah, but here people might be like, yeah, yeah. Uh, so never rabbit. No, always rabbit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry guys. Um, so, yeah, so that's the R.